Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to talk about uh, some of the panel uh, parameters and how to do the open circuit and short circuit or how to get the connections of the different testers um, involving the panels. So first the panel parameters and power. So if you look at any panel, any panel okay you will find that it has a data sheet okay this data sheet shows us the different parameters of the panel for example it shows us the maximum power produced by a panel which is for example here maximum power is 250 watt this is the peak power of the panel now when do we produce this power this power or the maximum power is produced at conditions called the standard test conditions or STC. So STC or the standard test conditions. What does this mean? It means that we tested our panel when we have irradiance falling on it with 1000 watt per meter square and at a temperature of 25 Celsius degree and at air mass of 1.5 which we have discussed before at these three conditions when we uh, test our panel we will find that the maximum power which can be produced is 250 watt okay now we have also the open circuit voltage and short circuit which we have discussed before when we leave the wires open two terminals open and we measure the voltage and when we connect that connect the two wires together the two terminals together we will have this short circuit current now we have also the optimum operating voltage and optimum operating current what does this mean you can see here vmb which is uh, the voltage at maximum power and imb means the current at maximum power okay so in order to get this maximum power of 250 from the curve if you remember it v and i like this or i and v to be more specific like this so if you remember the curve it was something like this okay so the point of maximum power this point at which we will have maximum power okay maximum power this point is occurring at value of current will be 8.87 ampere and value of voltage will be 30.10 uh, volt okay okay um here this is a voltage and this is a current okay this is a short circuit current this if you multiply 30.1 multiplied by 8.32 which is the values at maximum power you will get the 250 watt okay now we have another three um, uh, parameters here inside the uh, data sheet of the panel you will find here temperature coefficient of B maximum temperature coefficient of V open circuit and temperature coefficient of I short circuit what does this even mean you can see that the temperature coefficient B max so we have our power B max equal to 250 watt okay now what does this mean negative 0.44 percent bare Celsius degree so remember that this power is at the STC conditions of 25 Celsius degree at temperature equal to 25 Celsius degree okay now let's assume that the temperature is now equal to 26 Celsius degree so what happened here the temperature increased by 1 Celsius degree okay the temperature increased and as we remember that when the temperature increases the uh, voltage will decrease and the current will increase by a very small value okay so how much is our panel uh, the power maximum of the panel will be at uh, 1 Celsius degree when at 26 Celsius degree you will see that here it says that negative 0.44 percent bare Celsius degree so it means that our P new 
the new maximum power at the 26 Celsius degree will be equal to the 250 okay minus uh, 250 multiplied by 0.44 percent okay so our power will be decreased by 0.44 percent for each one Celsius degree now let's say the temperature and instead of 25 it is 30 Celsius degree so in this case it will be 250 minus the decrease in the power due to the increase in temperature you can see 25 became 30 Celsius degree so the difference between them is 5 Celsius degree so multiply this by 5 okay so here it is a reduction in power as a percentage bare Celsius degree okay the same idea for the voltage voltage v open circuit is uh, here 37.5 now for each temperature rise we will decrease by negative 0.3 percent okay so here for example let's delete all of this so let's say the temperature again is 26 Celsius degree so what will happen to the voltage voltage will be the open circuit which is 37.5 minus 37.5 multiplied by how much negative uh, 0.3 okay here negative 0.3 okay so here our voltage will decrease by this percentage here we have a percentage okay remember now what about the current current will increase by a very small value 0.04 so instead of negative it will be plus okay so here you will see that the power and voltage decrease by 0.44 and 0.3 however the current itself increases by a very small value that's why the total power decreases okay now you can see here what is the maximum system voltage it is the maximum uh, value of the voltage uh, of the system itself okay so when we con connect the panels together and uh, form a string the maximum operating uh, voltage of this string must be 600 volt dc this is a maximum value and you can see here maximum series fuse sizing rating here we have a fuse which we will use to protect our pv panels we will learn of course in our course how can we select the fuses and cables so the maximum uh, fuse when we are connecting the panels in series maximum one is 15 amperes okay okay um here you will find that uh, other fire rating which is not important for us we have the weight in kilograms and pounds and we have the dimensions which is length multiplied by width multiplied by the depth in millimeter and in inch and this is our e uh, stc conditions here uh, this image is taken from uh, clean energy reviews or clean energy reviews dot dot info this shows you the uh, top electrical panels in 2022 okay so this is a top uh, panels what i would like to uh, say here you can see that all of these panels are half cut cells because we said before that half cut cell is much better than uh, a full monocrystalline cell okay so here you can see this is the highest the uh, panels with the highest power now as you can see this panel for example has 120 cells 144 156 and so on but you will notice something which is important that solar panel size versus power output you can see that as the power increases from 0100 to 560 or 680 you can see that the dimensions of the panel itself starts increasing so more power means we will need more area of our panel okay because it will absorb more energy or more irradiation from the sun okay okay so what about panel power usually you will find that this uh, panel power or the bv system is rated in kilowatt peak you can see this value of power which is the p maximum 
representing the peak power so we can say that this one is uh, the kilowatt peak of the pv system so what does this mean it means that for example if we have a pv system which is consisting of several strings or arrays we have seven kilowatt peak what does this mean it means that this system or this solar energy system has a maximum output power of seven kilowatt it is the maximum possible power that this uh, system will produce at stc conditions okay at stc conditions okay now as you can see that here before we, we continue you can see that of course um, the power output of the pv panel is affected by the temperature as you can see and also affected by the irradiance so how can we know this we need to find the data of the irradiance and find the data of the uh, temperature in our location so that we can size our system correctly okay so here you can find that this is, this is uh, essentially the rate at which it generates energy at peak performance okay maximum power and for example at noon we have the highest uh, radiation from the sun uh, so this is the time at which we will have the maximum possible power the kilowatt peak of a domestic system will vary depending on how much a customer wants to spend and the area of the roof available so usually um, we are limited to the area of the roof okay if you are uh, installing uh, bv panels for your own house then you are um, constrained or you are limited to the area of the roof itself okay you don't have much space so depending on this space you will install bv panels and you may reduce your own electricity bill okay we can know the radiation of a location required at the angle of the pv and temperature using the global solar atlas so here as i said before here as i said we said here that we have the um, radiance and temperature are very important to know so how can i know the radiance of any location and the temperature of any location we use some website called the global uh, solar atlas global solar atlas if you go to this website and selected your own location you will be able to uh, find the optimum tilt angle again and uh, you will find the uh, radiance uh, values or radiation values and you will also find the temperature of the location so as an example if i go to the global solar atlas and i selected the same location as before cairo egypt which i have selected in the previous lesson you will find that the irradiance here here it is given the radiance you can see that here the direct normal irradiation and we have global horizontal irradiation diffuse horizontal irradiation and the global tilted irradiation at optimum angle and so on so different types of uh, irradiation which we uh, will discuss in another lesson okay i will discuss them so you can understand the difference between them so anyway for now you can see that this website helps you also to get the optimum tilt angle you can see 26 uh, degrees okay and also this website if you go to more details it can give you the direction of the panel is it uh, should you direct it to the east or the west or the west or the north or south the website itself shows you it gives you the four direction north south east west uh, west okay <laughs> not west west okay um and it gives you the direction of the panels so you have the panel itself an angle which is the tilt angle which we have obtained using um, several methods before okay using several methods before and we have we need the direction uh, which direction which of which one of these four directions you will find that for example it will give you something like this so it means that we should direct our panels to the east south okay or south east okay so now you have the angle which is the angle using the methods before 
or by using the value here optimum angle obtained by the global atlas you can see everyone is giving you different um, tilt angles okay so there is no one solution okay there are several tilt angles for uh, the same location okay so you have the tilt angle and you have the direction you can see also here here are the different types of irradiation and you have here also the air temperature okay remember that our panel is at uh, 25 Celsius degree as a uh, peak power okay peak power now from this you can um, identify the uh, since you have here 22.6 you can see the difference the output the maximum output power and the open circuit voltage okay so this will help you to get uh, more data about the bv system okay so how can we do the bv panel measurements so here as we said before we have uh, our avometer the avometer is used to measure the current and used to measure the voltage so as an example if we have a battery or our bv system which will give us two terminals positive uh, here negative and here we have positive okay two terminals now what are you going to do um simply okay not this one let's delete all of this first here we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal okay so you usually you connect connect the positive terminal of a battery or a pv system with the red uh, measurement port okay which is connected here to the ampere point okay and uh, the negative terminal here you can see negative or the current coming like this so the current will flow from battery like this through the uh, red uh, port and go to the device and then comes out from the com port okay the com port here is the one which you will connect to uh, the other uh, part of the lamp okay so you can see this avometer is in series so you have something like this you have a battery plus minus then you have here the uh, current measurement here you have the current measurement in series we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal so you can see positive positive you can see positive with a positive okay then the negative terminal is connected to one part of the lamp let's say it is a resistor one part of the lamp and the other part will go to the negative other part will go to the negative part okay so here you can measure you can measure what you can measure the short circuit current of a panel okay now here's the same idea you can see here uh, not the not the short circuit uh, it will measure the current in general okay why it is not the short circuit because we have a load here if we cancel this load and connect this part directly like this then we will measure the short circuit current okay you will see all of this in the next slide here you can see uh, the same idea for measuring the current this idea is similar to this one for the voltage voltage uh, or the avometer is uh, connected in parallel with the load you can see we have the bv panel like this positive and the negative terminal so we connect this one here positive with positive and the negative with negative parallel to the load so you will have something like this you can see the panel like this plus minus like this this is our panel and we connect like this the avometer parallel to it parallel to uh, the load which is the motor like this okay okay so here you can measure the voltage so here we measure voltage and here we measure current okay so here you can see this is the open circuit uh, test or we are measuring the open circuit voltage so you can see we are connecting one terminal to the uh, voltage part of the avometer and the other terminal to the com okay so here you can see we are having for example here positive and the negative terminals of the panel we will put it like this so we can measure the voltage okay we want at one terminal and another terminal okay now the same idea 
for the short circuit current same part but you will connect to the ampere so instead of here you will connect the red one here in the ampere part and the negative is connected to the com usually the negative is the black one and red is the positive one so here you will measure the short circuit current so now let's see uh, this practically this is this video is from um, sunware company okay for uh, bv systems you can see that here uh, let's go a little bit here like this okay you can see that first if you look at any panel any panel okay you will find two terminals or two types of terminals one which is like this we have a red one and the blue one okay so the red one is the positive terminal of the uh, bv cell okay or the bv panel and the blue one is the negative terminal so positive terminal negative terminal same idea here you can have you can find some panels have blue green and red same idea as as here if you measure the voltage between blue and red you will get the open circuit voltage or the total voltage okay similar to if you measure here and here you will get the total voltage however if you take the green one and the red one and started measuring the voltage you will get half of the voltage so again uh, red one red one is usually positive blue one blue one is usually negative okay measuring between them or adding the avometer you will get what you will get the whole voltage complete open open circuit voltage here if you same idea take uh, red which is a positive and the blue is a negative if you connect uh, an avometer between them you will get the whole open circuit voltage however if you connect between here and here you will get half of the voltage okay those are two two types of terminals of bv uh, system so if you go here you will find that we have our avometer first you have to select are you choosing voltage like here or are you selecting ampere okay you will find here if you are measuring the open circuit voltage then you will select the voltage here if you are uh, measuring the current then you will select the current here okay then you will find here the com com here which is the black one or the ground this one is always used it is connected to what connected to the blue line okay because it is a negative terminal okay and you will find here other two terminals one which is the ampere one other one is milliampere and voltage so if you would like to measure the open circuit voltage you will take v and com if you would like to measure current you will take uh, milliampere or the 10 ampere and the com okay so as you can see here here we have the uh, bv uh, junction box a very small junction box here with the two terminals okay so if you go here you will find here we have uh, the red one blue and green so if you go like this okay now you can see here we connected the you can see black here let's get back a little bit here like this okay so first you can see black connected to the com okay and the red one is connected to the voltage okay so here we are measuring the open circuit voltage so we will connect the since this one is the negative or the ground we will connect it to the blue one and then we will connect the red one to the red one okay or positive to positive you can see here like this you can see uh, the blue one connected with the black line the red one connected with the red um, wire okay so you can see here red and blue 
Now we find that the voltage showing here 20 volt. This is what? This is the open circuit voltage of our BV panel here. Okay. Now, if I would like to measure the short circuit current, simply we'll take the red line, this red line, and put it in milliampere or the 10 ampere. So you'll find like this, you can see here. As you can see here, we switch it to, we will switch from voltage and go here to the other side with current, as you can see here, like this, you can see here current, okay? Here we had the voltage and here we have the current. Okay, okay, now you will take the uh, instead of from the red uh, terminal from here and put it here at the current point. Okay, which we have done right now. Okay, so as you can see here, here we have voltage when we measure the voltage and here we are going to measure the current. And the comb is at as it is. Now we will take the black and put it here with the blue one and take the red with the red as you will see now so we'll take this one here like this with the clamp i remember i think it's called clamp you'll find that the current measured dc current measure is 0 0.0 c1 very very small current or very small short circuit current now why is this because there is uh, no much light in the studio very weak irradiation so the current, uh, output current is very, very small. Okay. So in this uh, lesson, you learn it about uh, more about BV panel parameters and how can we measure the open circuit voltage and short circuit current.